Hey everybody and welcome to Men's Wear Minutes. I'm Dan Japani, founder of Articles of Style, and today we're talking about how to not hate your custom suit. I think when guys first get into custom tailoring, they want to show off how custom their garment is. Uh, and this leads to a lot of design decisions that uh, are not great for the longevity of the garment. When I was new to this business, I would work with clients that uh, wanted all kinds of crazy options with colored buttonholes and contrast stitching, contrast pocket flaps, really flashy linings. Um, all of these things sound great, uh, and, you know, especially if you're trying to flash how custom your garment is. The problem is, anytime you put a flashy detail like that on a garment, it drastically reduces the garment's wearability and overall lifespan. Anyone who's done custom menswear uh, can probably relate to this. They, they probably have one or two garments hanging in their closet that we call Frankenstein garments that were way over-designed, uh, and they're just sitting there collecting dust. And, it was all just such a waste. I think that's the hard part for people who are new to designing clothing is a great designer knows what not to do, right? It's not about adding more bells and whistles. Uh, minimalism and simplicity is often the backbone of a great design uh, and something that is worn for a long period of time. You know, I believe this so strongly that I'm considering removing customization from articles of style altogether uh, and just designing the products ourselves so that we never have an instance where a customer can purchase a certain fabric with a certain detail that isn't the perfect match. You know, I'm trying to find the perfect balance between being a clothing designer and someone who runs a custom clothing shop um, and trying to advise customers on creating the best designs for them. In some cases, I think some brands actually push people to over-design product um, so that the shelf life will run out and they'll come back and buy more. I mean, that is a philosophy that is rampant in fashion where they don't want it to last and they want you to come back and maybe they want to over design it or make it cooler or trendier. Uh, but really, that's a big disservice to you uh, and is really just uh, serving themselves as the company trying to sell you something. So my advice is if you're going into custom clothing, um, do it with an open mind and trust the stylist you're working with. They've been there. They've done that. They've seen thousands of garments come to life. You know, I get it. You have this great idea for this amazing one-of-a-kind design. Maybe you've been sketching it. You have a folder on your desktop full of inspiration pictures. I get it. I've been there. The truth is that it's probably not going to be as cool as you think, right? Anytime you're doing something for the first time, you're probably not going to do a great job of it. From the brand's perspective, it's very difficult to have customers who want to play designer and really customize garments. What you have to think about is, we're only offering a product that we know very well. We've tried and tested it, and we've made it a thousand times. So uh, it's been perfected time and time again. If you come to me and with a sketch and want to make something for the first time, um, that's a risky proposition for the brand because now we have to hit a home run on our first at bat. And it's not only a home run, it has to be a home run to you. So we have to match your expectations as a customer. And as someone who's never designed garments or seen them come to life, you're probably imagining something um, that isn't going to be exactly what the garment was. So when we were a young brand, when we first started, uh, we were taking every order we can get, as any startup does. And we quickly learned that we had to limit the customization, not only to, to improve the overall customer service and expectation management, but also just to make better, timeless garments. All right there, Giorgio Armani. That's all for today. I know you have a great idea for a great design. My advice is to, to work with an expert, trust them, don't overdo it. You don't need all those bells and whistles. Uh, simpler is always better and more elegant. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.